In this video, I'm going to show you all how to create a super secretive secure folder in your Samsung device that does more than just storing your personal files. This folder is going to be so secretive and no one will ever even know it is a secret folder when they are even looking at it. Alright, so I got my S23 Ultra over here. Let's get right into it. In order to create the secure folder, all you need to do is open the settings app, navigate to security and privacy and then open secure folder. After that, you will get this welcome screen for the secure folder and you need to click on the continue button and then click on the continue button again to give permission to create the secure folder. So after that, you need to give a phone about a minute of time to create the secure folder for you. After the completion of the setup, you will get a screen like this to select a lock type. So by now, the secure folder should have appeared as an icon as default in your app list. You can hide that app as well if you want to, but if you are planning on keeping the secure folder as an app like me, make sure to untick the fingerprints and create a new pin or a new password for the secure folder. I will tell you why you need to do this in a minute guys. So for the moment, I'm gonna add 5555 as my pin to unlock this secure folder. After you add the pin, you will get a pop-up saying turn on reset with Samsung account. So basically it suggests you a way to unlock the secure folder with your Samsung account if you forget the pin. So I'm gonna select turn on for this one. So once that done, you can go ahead and open your app menu and here is the secure folder. Now, like I said in the beginning, one special thing about this folder is that this is not just to store your files. Let me show you what that means. If you click on the plus icon over here, you can add any app to this secure folder. For example, let's add Facebook. So what happens now is that you can use the Facebook app on your secure folder for a different sign in. Let's say you have a second Facebook profile. So you can sign into that profile from the secure folder and no one will be able to find out about it. And this sign in will be a separate sign in from your regular Facebook sign in guys. You can do this to any other app on your phone including Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Reddit, Whatsapp for your convenience and you can even save a different list of contacts on the secure folder as well. This is one of the most exclusive features you will get on a Samsung phone and this feature was available on Samsung phones for a few years now. Now let me show you how to hide the files. Now I'm going to open up my gallery app on the secure folder and so far it's empty. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to open up my gallery app on my home screen and let's say I want to hide this image. I'm going to click on the three dots and click on move to secure folder and it's going to move this image to the secure folder. So yeah, it works like that. So basically you can follow this method to move files to your secure folder in any app. Now I'm going to show you how to further secure this folder. Click on the three dots in your secure folder and then click on customize and then you will get a screen like this. Here you can customize the secure folder icon, change the name of the icon and color of the icon to any color from the options given. So I'm going to select the blue color, select this document icon here and name this secure folder as documents and click on apply. The secure folder goes by the name documents now with a different icon in your app list. So if someone sees this, let's say for an example, let's say your girlfriend or your friends, they won't even know that this is a hidden folder with hidden files and profiles because it genuinely looks like some documents app. And even when I move a file from let's say the gallery to the secure folder, it doesn't say secure folder anymore, it says documents. Now in the beginning I told you guys that to remove the fingerprints and use a pin or a password for the secure folder if you are planning on keeping it as an app. Here's why. Let's say once again your girlfriend or your friends ask you to open this app. You can simply say that you can't remember the password or the pin if you have files or online profiles that you do not want to show to anyone. If you have your fingerprint set for this, you will have to use it because it's right there and you might get into some trouble. So this way with the pin, no one can force you to open this unknown folder since you can't remember the pin. 
Also, you get a few more settings on this secure folder such as how soon you want the secure folder to be locked after turning off the screen and also you can set up notification to show or to hide based on your liking. I'd say keep them hidden if the information on this folder is very personal to you. You can also remove the secure folder icon from the apps list like I said before and access it only through the settings under security and privacy if you prefer that way. But for me, I like keeping it as an app on the app menu for easy but sneaky access. There are a few more settings like sync account option if you are planning on syncing any online profiles like I told you earlier and few more settings if you are planning on taking things even further. So there you go, now you know how to hide your personal stuff like your images or online profiles on your Samsung device and hey, in all seriousness, you could be an artist, a musician or a businessman that would like to keep your work private and this would be a very good solution. And the secure folder is protected by Samsung Knox so it's gonna be pretty much unbreakable. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did please give me a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button guys, it really does help the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.